Welcome to P2. Today we're looking at modeling with differentiation, unit 7.4. Now this is all about rates of change. A lot of the questions you will have to get the rate of change from the question and understand what that means. So for example, if I had a dv by dt, that is the rate of change of volume with respect to time. And that volume could be, you know, a liquid or something like that, as it, it often is. So it might be, you know, something that is litres per second. And you see that and then it's, oh, volume. OK, it could be centimetres cubed per second. OK, or per minute or even per hour. OK, but you'll see this from a question where you're looking for the unit. And if you see something per something, it's going to be a rate of change. And then you have to think about what that rate of change is. Now, it's much easier for me to go through this with an example. So here's an exam style question. We've got a cuboid shaped here brick. Total surface area is 600. We need to show what V is. And then we need to use calculus to find the maximum value of V and then justify it. So for part A, we need to think about what we know. We can find the volume of a cuboid. As that's just going to be length times width times height. So we've got Y times X times 2X. So 2X squared Y. And that's my volume, that's obviously going to be a base for this here. Now, we're also given the surface area, so I need to think about that surface area. And to do that, let's call this A for the area, and we want to think about each area. So if I kind of number them 1, 2 and 3 for you, let's do them separately first. So area 1 is going to be Y times 2x, so 2xy. Area 2 is going to be times x by 2x. So it's going to be 2x squared. And area 3, which is along the top, that's y times x. So that's xy. So my surface area is just going to be all three of these added together, but then I will need to double them because obviously I've got six sides, two of each. So we get two times, and then we get 2xy plus 2x squared plus xy. So I can see I've got a total of 3xy plus 2x squared here. So 6xy plus 4x squared. And of course, that total surface area equals 600. Now, what I can see is that I've got an equation in terms of V for my volume with X and Y. And I've got another equation with X and Y. <clears throat> when I look at this equation here that it wants me to find... There's no y in it. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to rearrange for y and substitute in. So I need to take this one and substitute into here as this is already v equals, which is what we want. So rearranging, this will give me 600 minus 4x squared equals 6xy. And then I want to divide by that 6x. So 600 minus 4x squared over 6x. And that there is my y. Now, another point to see is that these are separated out, not as a single fraction. So let's also do this with our y before we uh, substitute it in. So y equals now 600 over 6x. Minus 4x squared over 6x. So here that 6 will cancel into there. My 600, so that's 100 over x. 1x will go and this will go to 2 thirds. So 2 over 3x. 
sorry. I should say two thirds X. Now I've got that in a like a better form, I can substitute that into my V. So then looking at the V, come over to the side. So we get two X squared multiplied by 100 over X minus two thirds X. Now it should be quite obvious, times in by two here, so we're gonna get 200 X minus four thirds X cubed. Okay, you can take an extra step if you want to do the cancelling, but you don't need to at this point. So this is what we had required. And this kind of start here is a very typical start to one of these questions in the exam, where you're essentially proving a formula, you have to use your knowledge of finding an area or finding a volume already, and you essentially have to combine two formulas. Or two formulae, I should say. Now, for part B, we can use the formula that we just created. And, of course, even if we mess that up, we do have the formula given to us in the question. So, use calculus to find the maximum value of V, giving your answer to the nearest centimetre. So, all we need to do here is differentiate. So that's going to give me 200 minus 4x squared. As obviously when I bring the 3 down, 3 and the 3 will cancel. And it's going to be a maximum at the turning point, which means the gradient must be 0. So we need to make dv by dx equal to 0. So we get 200 minus 4x squared equals 0. So 200 equals 4x squared, divide by 4, and then of course take the square root of 50, which is also written as 5 root 2, and that is centimetres there. All that's left to do now is to substitute this into my V. So I got V equals 200 times 5 root 2 minus 4 times 5 root 2 cubed over 3. And this is 942.8, which to the nearest centimetre, or should be centimetres cubed, is 943 centimetres cubed. Now, we need to justify that the value of V we have found is a maximum. And to do that, we need to differentiate a second time. So now I want to do D2V by DX squared. The 200 is obviously going to disappear. I'm going to bring my 2 down, so it's going to give me negative 8X. And then I need to substitute my x in, but it should be pretty obvious from here. So d2v by dx squared is equal to minus 8 times my 5 root 2, which is minus 40 root 2. Now this is obviously a negative number, therefore it is a maximum. So d2v by dx squared is less than zero, therefore um, x equals five root two is a maximum. Now I'm just gonna stick with the one example today, but obviously with the questions that'll pop up in a moment, I'll go through the answers to those at the end of the video.